Hello class, good evening. How are you doing? Can you listen to me? Welcome to your session. This is session uh, number 10. Really hope you guys are doing great. If you are able to listen to me, please um be um just raise your hand or send me a message on the chat. I really want to make sure I'm like um you guys hear me very well. If that's so, you know, we can get started. How are you guys doing? Can anybody confirm, please? Alfredo, can you listen to me? Oh, all right. Do you listen to me? Just uh, making sure, you know, just testing my, my audio system. Yes. All right, perfect. So welcome class uh, to your session number 10. This is our, this is Tuesday, today is Tuesday and we're gonna get started. And um, yesterday we talked about a topic which was how to make, well, we started to talk about geography, right? Geography, vocabulary. So let's make a quick exercise. Let's brainstorm those uh, words you learned yesterday without looking at your notes, without uh, you know, going back on your, I don't know, platform. If you have it open, just tell me what are those words we practiced yesterday, at least uh, one or two, the ones you remember. We were talking about superlatives and the. I always forget the the, the another one. Yeah, superlatives. Superlatives and, and comparatives. Comparatives, yeah, uh, comparatives. Yeah. And then, uh, when the the class was about to finish, you were dividing them by short and long and irregular. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I don't know what's happening. Thank you. Yeah. So that was basically yesterday, right? We started to talk about um, comparatives and superlatives, and we talked about geographical or geography vocabulary, right? So that was yesterday. And today we're going to start focusing on the uh, some of the spelling rules that I consider, you know, will help us, you know, when it comes to talk about um, comparatives and superlatives. Okay, so today I'll be focusing on that. Please pay attention. Uh, if you have anything to ask or add, just you know, go ahead and, and raise your hand and we can talk, talk about it, okay? So welcome once again. I'm gonna be using this slide, which I consider summarizes what I want to share with you guys on this session, okay? Uh, what I'm gonna be presenting is basically, you know, um, gotten from the platform. Okay. If you saw the videos, uh, it talks about formula, spelling, and some of the things that we have to consider when using competitives and superlatives, okay? So it's not that I just make it up, and it's not that I'm just trying to deviate from the topic. It's basically, you know, a summary from what uh, the class uh, is going to be about, okay? So... We're gonna start with this idea. And I really want you to please uh, practice with me, ask questions if there is any. And I'm, I'm gonna give you the explanation. And then I want you to uh, also try to create your own sentences, okay? So let's see, uh, the competitive is normally used if you want to compare two things. So first, first thing, first tip, first point to consider. We cannot talk about competitives if there are no two things, because I can't compare, you know, one thing with what with uh, one thing. I mean, when itself is not possible. Okay, so first key is two things, so I can compare at least two things. Okay, and then um, when we compare using short words, like this is what I wanted to say yesterday. We didn't say it because um, you know we didn't have much time. But now you can write that down in, in your notes if you are if you are this type of person who likes writing things down. When we talk about short, yesterday we talked about short and long and irregulars, right? Do you remember that? 
So when do we say one word is short? Well, here's the definition, like the quickest one I can give you. One or two syllables, okay? So once again, if a word or if an adjective is short, it's because it has one or two syllables. This is the general belief. This is, this is the general rule, okay? We might find some exceptions, but you know, but that's the general one. One or two syllables, this is short, all right? Now, um, we have to understand what a syllable is. You know? Syllables, guys, are uh, sounds. Are, uh, it's not a spelling, it's, it's the pronunciation, basically, okay? Because uh, you might say, well, but this one, it's it has more than one syllable because it's kind of long, but then when you pronounce it, you might say just, just like as a as a one single word, so that's 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 crucial. This this point is really essential to understand. Syllable talks about pronunciation. It's not talking about writing. It's not talking about spelling. But then that's crucial. So how do we uh, know this is short? It because it has just one or two syllables. That's it. As an as an example, we have the first word or the first adjective tall. And when this happens, we know that we, by simply adding ER, we make a comparative, right? If you knew this already, fine. If you didn't know, well, I invite you to write this idea down. If an adjective has you know, just once, one or two syllables, then we add ER and it's already comparative. Our base form is tall. He is tall. He is tall. And then I add ER and then he is taller. Now I'm not saying he's tall. I want to make a comparison with some someone else. So he's taller and the word then, like we said yesterday, is the one we always want to use when we make a comparison. Don't forget that one. Whenever we use comparatives, we have to use then. Because then is like set an important, you know, segment in the sentence. So we clearly evidence that what's coming next is the comparison with, with the thing or with the person, with whatever we're comparing. So uh, we have a second one, and this is what I'm telling you about. If you observe this word, how do you pronounce this one? Any, can anybody help me? The second one, I'm gonna write number two here. How do you pronounce that? This one? Yeah. Uh, Okay, thank you so much, Roberto. Then uh, we say that we pronounce as chi, right? So if that's the case, when I pronounce the word, it's gonna be, I'm gonna write it here. Sounds like this. I'm gonna do it like this so I, I explain what I'm trying to illustrate here. When I say chi, I just make one sound. So this word, I can tell it, it only has one, one syllable, even though, if we see it like from the Spanish view, from the Spanish language view, you might say, no, but this is too syllable because it has two vowels, but it's not like that. In English, it doesn't work by spelling. Syllables are determined by sounds, okay? Hope, hope you know, this is clear. Like for example, the word cheap, I only make one sound. So this is one syllable, okay? And uh, so my card is cheap because it's a syllable. I can make, uh, you know, a comparative by simply adding ER. So my card is cheaper than your car. I make, you know, a comparison too. So he's taller than me and I'm and my card is cheaper than your car. This is the basic one. This is the, the basic example I can give you. Now, in order for me to understand and to, to uh, make sure it's clear, I want you to provide me one sentence. You don't need to write it down. Just open your microphone and, and give me your own idea. It doesn't have to be a long adjective. It's, it's, it can be just you know, a simple and short one. Anybody? No matter what the example is. Exactly. No matter what the example you can provide. Okay. Uh, iPhone is faster than Android. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I, I've never used iPhone, you know, but yeah. I, maybe, right? So it's a good one, faster than Android. Good, thank you. I appreciate that. As you can see, the specific example provided by uh, Roberto, Robert Beltran, 
it fits under this category because it's just one syllable fast, then faster. All right, awesome. Let's move on because there's a lot more to talk about on this topic. In case you have any doubt, please make sure to stop me. This is important. This is like, I would say, uh, whenever you are speaking, you might not uh, need it, but when you are writing, you have to know. What happens when we have the adjectives that follow this structure? It says uh, one vowel in consonant. It says uh, we double the last consonant. If the adjective ends in this specific pattern, right? Vowel in consonant. If that's the ending, we are going to double the last, the last consonant. So we don't say big, bigger with one G, we say bigger with double G. So this is a formula that we have to remember. So whenever we have one adjective like this ones in which you know we finish, the last words are vowel plus uh, consonant, we double the, the last consonant. And this is how it works. You can see these are some of, some of the most common ones. Big, bigger, hot, hotter, thin, thinner, fat, fatter. I'm talking about you know description of someone like fatter, and um you might find some others, mm -hmm. but then you have to understand that why do we double the the consonant because our ending is in vowel plus consonant. So most of the time it follows you know this 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 pattern consonant vowel consonant. That's the ending, boom, with that will the, the consonant, the final consonant. If you knew this already, awesome. In case you didn't know, you might want to write it down, right? Big, bigger, hot, hotter, thin, thinner, fat, fatter, all right? Do you know any other in which we can apply this rule? Uh, yeah, I think you can put warm. Warm. Mm -hmm. hmm. I'm gonna I'm going to write it down because I I see what you're you're uh, so this one, warm. This one. Of course. Okay. Why don't we apply the rule to this one? Why, what do you think? Because the comparatives is gonna be only warmer. So it's gonna be like, uh, let's see, I'm gonna use this. I don't know how I choose to use. The comparative is only like this one, warmer. But then why we don't apply double M? Bigger, harder, thinner, farther. Happier, funnier, easier. Mm -hmm. And mm. the I forgot the rule. It says if the adjective ends in one vowel plus consonant, what happens is that warmer it doesn't end in vowel consonant. We have double consonant in the last, the last. So this double consonant makes this adjective into a different category. So that's why. It's just you know the, the general rule, which is warmer. We we simply add er. If it was like this war, but this is not an adjective. If it war is just a word, it, it's not an adjective. Then you will you will like duplicate, right? But then war is not an adjective. It doesn't it doesn't follow the rule. Let's see what else. BC BC it's uh this one cannot belong to this category because it has a different ending. BC, BC, it has um, the Y is considered a vowel sound. So the Y is vowel sound. So at the end, it doesn't belong to this category. What happens when we have um, endings with vowel with Y? That's the next category. So, so let's take a look at this one. If it, if it ends in Y, you know, this is important we change the Y into I and we add ER. But something else ha happens here. We have to you know, see that the previous letter is also a consonant. You know, like you don't say 
I am more happy than you. Mm -mm, you don't say that. You say I am happier, which is like the song happier. Maybe you have you if you have heard the song happier is a good one. Happier, funny. So it's very common to hear people saying, uh, "I am more funny," but that's not how it is. It is um what it is uh, funnier. Why fly is not is it doesn't correspond to this category. I can see in the chat somebody wrote fly. Fly is not an adjective. Fly, it can be a noun or it can be a verb. So if it is a verb, we don't apply rules, the rule here. So this is like when you fly to another country by plane or the fly, you know, the insect, but then it's not considered an adjective. So we don't apply that, that one here. Jaime. Yes, uh, it's which one? It. It. Can you say? Can you can you spell it out for me, please? Comer. I'm sorry. Comer. Oh yeah, but that one eat. Yeah, eat. I I knew it was that. Is an action. If it is an action, it's considered a verb. So it doesn't doesn't belong to this category. So we are just talking about, Jaime, in class, we're just talking about mm -hmm. adjectives. And an adjective is not an action. An adjective, like it says here, an adjective is just, you know, a word that describes something or someone or any situation. So let's think about words that describe, you know, that's what it is. So let's not talk about action. Let's talk about adjectives that's that's key i know but thanks so much for your participation let's go over this one so i'm going to give us some others throughout the, the presentation this presentation has so many examples let's see happy happier funny funnier easy easier ugly uglier with these ones we, that we have in this column we can make compare comparisons right so who wants to uh, participate by choosing any of these um, competitors and create one sentence? Any, anything that comes to your mind. I just want to know if you know how to use them. Anything, come on, just participate. We are 20, 21 connected. Just you know, make up an, a sentence and just let it, let it flow, let it go. I will give you an example while you think about one. You can say English is, when I say easier, easier than what? Chinese? <laughs> I think it's easier. Never heard, never learned Chinese, but I believe. Or maybe English is easier than Greek. I don't know. <laughs> never, never. Uh, learn Greek, but I'm just trying to illustrate examples. I'm gonna say something else. Uh, what, um, let's see, hotter, I'm gonna use hotter. Uh, what, let's see, let's talk about departamentos. Chalatenango, chalate, chalate is hotter than San Salvador. You see, I'm just trying to, you know, use the ones provided on the on the on the screen. But then, what about if you try to create one? Just follow the the formula. Compare two things. If if you can compare two things using the ones given, as awesome. Anybody, please just try to. Maybe you can send an uh, a sentence on the chat. I'm to I'm today happier than yesterday. I'm, I'm glad. So you say I'm happier. I'm happier. You say today, comma, I'm happier than yesterday. Yeah. So you don't leave today in the in between. Today is more like to be to be left at the end or at the beginning. Today I'm happier than yesterday. Or I'm happier than yesterday today. Yeah. All right. Perfect. 
King, this English class is funny. Funnier, funnier. Okay, cool. Let's move on. Guys, please participate. Don't uh don't like be only a listener, please. Um if the topic is easy and you say teacher, this is too easy, let's move on. And then we can move on into great paragraphs or not make up conversations. But I cannot move on to conversations and uh, create conversations if if I don't have a, a clear picture that you understand the topic. So please, this is your class. I'm just a facilitator and I want you to participate. If you have questions, raise your hand. Hey, I don't understand, or give me another example. At the end, that's my that's my role in this classroom. It's not to speak, you know, not to be speaking all the time. Then we will basically, you know, lose the, the intention. I'm Farid de Miguel, okay? Nice. That's a comparison. Christian, good job. All right. Uh huh. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's analyze some other ideas. You know, this is another one that I, that we have to understand, and that's why yesterday we were talking about long words, long words, and how do we know is an IELTS is long? Well, the first thing to consider, class, is that it has to be what? Look at the look at this spot. Three or more syllables. Three or more. So if it has three or more, then it's long. So we're not going to say, take a look at this one. Beautiful. 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 So I, it sounds like this three syllables. Beautiful. If we separate the U sound, it sounds like four syllables. Beautiful. Beautiful. So at the end, it's like more than three syllables. What happened with long spelling adjectives? We don't say beautiful air. We don't add er. We add more. This is important. We say more. Like in interesting, interesting, interesting is more than two syllables. So it's like three syllables. So then it's more interesting. So now we have something extra. We don't say Maria is beautiful -er than Jennifer. No, we say Maria is more beautiful than Jennifer. This book is more interesting than that book. So this is how it works. Now, with this in mind, send me, guys, long adjectives, long spelling, like more than three syllables. On the chat, there are many, I'm telling you, there are many, but at least send me one. I have 20 students connected. So let's see, I can have 20 adjectives on, on the chat. Please do not repeat the same. Santa Ana is colder than San Salvador. Yep. San Miguel is the one. The weather was hotter than last week. Yes. I like because you're using past was hotter. And this is also possible. So let's brainstorm some of the um, adjectives that are long spelling, long spelling adjectives class. Hmm? Long spelling. Whilst you are thinking about which ones you are going to share, we also have here, we also have class uh, irregulars. We talked about this yesterday, and then we have the ones. Why do we say, uh, let's see, Roberto Beltran, why do we say it's irregular? Why? Why do we say it's irregular? Because the structure changes if you want to <laughs> use like a comparative. Yes. Because <laughs> Okay, yes, the structure changes, right? Yeah, basically, if it it's irregular, like you said, it changes. Irregular, it means that it, you're not going to follow the rules given. That, those those ones are exceptions. They're, they're, they're not regular as the other ones. They're irregular, you know, out of what is normal. And the good news, well, it can be frustrating sometimes, but the good news is that there's just few. Few. You can memorize them, you know. Actually, I'm presenting the most common ones. Good, better, bad, worse, far farther, you know, and little less and much more. And then, you know, maybe yes, three or four more, and that's it. 
there are not many. Actually, there is a link that I want to share with you in case you want to go over some other examples using irregular words or, or irregular adjectives, okay? But then let's now move forward. I want to make sure this, this is clear. What questions do you have about long word or long uh, adjectives, guys? Do you have questions? Are we clear as to when do we add more? If I pass on a quiz about this one, would you be able to respond? Yes. Do you have clear in mind why we say more and no, and, and we don't add ER? The motorcycle is more expensive than my bicycle. Yeah. Oh, my motorcycle is more expensive than my bicycle. Yes. Expensive. Good job, Janita. More expensive. Awesome. And what about uh, any other? Any other? They say, Janita is giving us expensive. That's good. It belongs to this category. What about the other ones? Think about some other adjectives that we can, you know, um, include in this, in this category of more than three syllables. See, I'm gonna give you one minute and then you start thinking about what are those adjectives that we can, you know, include, All right? Hardworking, Jocelyn, yes. Hardworking is, is another one. So now we can create a, an example using hardworking, you know? What comes to your mind with hardworking? Uh -huh. One sentence. I'm asking you for a sentence. It's very easy. Just think about two things you want to compare hard working. Since it's hardworking, you can think about people, right? I can say, uh, what? My mother is more hardworking than my father. Yes, an example. So I'm comparing two people, hardworking. I'm using more because it's long spelling, okay? So do something, write these ideas down. Maybe the regular one. Regulars, because we need to create sentence. A department is less expensive than a house. Uh -huh. I like less expensive. This is another way to make comparisons. Yes, less. We can use less before the adjective, and is also comparing. Yes, nice. I like it. You know, that's another way to say less is the opposite of more. Right? More expensive and less expensive, so as, as good, because you're making that comparison using less. And thank you so much, because less you can use it with some, like like the same way with other adjectives. Uh, I can say um, the one, the previous one, the bicycle, that, or my bicycle is less expensive than my motorcycle. It's just that I need to make sense of what I'm trying to say, right? My house is more, Oh, look at this one, further. But then further, uh, we said further is already a comparative. So we don't say more. You say my house is further than, you know, than my house, okay? So in that case, you don't want to say more. It's not necessary. It's not necessary, okay? Because it's already a comparative, further. All right, let's move on. I'm gonna give you uh, three minutes. I want you to write, you know, here the 
comparatives of these ones, right? So maybe on your notes, write the comparatives and choose one to write a sentence. I'll give you five minutes, the most, but please start working on this. My, I am more intelligent than my brother, said Jaime. Okay, nice. <laughs> I'm glad. Uh, in talking about my house is further, for it's more further. Uh, there's a there's a pic, there's a little mistake we need to make a correction. I'm I'm going to send it to you, Christian, so you have it correctly. Okay, in this case, I'm just checking my house is further. Is and then you just add the letter A like this, then then your house. When I say yours, not you, it's your house. I just send it. You know that's that is the the best one, because uh further with A it be, it's describing a physical distance, but further with U is talking about something like um metaphorical, something figurative further. Okay, it's not exactly about physical, you know, distance. So in this case, this the suggested is further with A further. Okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher, entonces, ¿cuándo es que lleva la palabra more? More, more Christian is when the when the word or when the adjective is long spelling. More than more than two syllables. Que tenga más de dos sílabas. Sí. Okay. Further, aunque further no aplicamos la regla, porque further corresponde a los a los irregulares. Los irregulares no les aplicamos la, la, la regla. Aquí lo, lo voy a poner aquí. Miren, aquí está. Further, aquí está. Further, yo les proporciono aquí un further. Hay una diferencia entre further con A y further con U. Farther con A se refiere a la distancia física. Farther con U se refiere a una distancia metafórica. Nada más, no es distancia física. En su momento podemos hablar de su, su, su diferencia. De hecho, hay un link que se lo quiero compartir para que lean sobre eso. But um, when we say that it's irregular, si decimos que es irregular, no le aplicamos el more, no le aplicamos la ER, porque irregular ya están dados. Si ya están dados, no aplicamos la regla general. Le ponemos more cuando son más de dos sílabas si no están entre los irregulares. And that's that's going to be reference, okay? And the reason that I changed your sentence is because you were saying further with you. And that's that's something about um, metaphorical, something that is it's talking about uh, distance, but not physically. It's not talking about, you know, it's talking about maybe... Uh, when I say, if you if you are uh, talking to me like that, you don't know how far I can go. If I say far I can go, I'm not talking about this, and I'm talking about maybe uh, until which point, until what specific you know condition, or I'm gonna be able to to be or something like this. So further with a, so it's not talking about physics physically distant, it's a physical distance. And then um, I can give you an example. Actually, I got it right here. I I'm gonna share this with you in a minute. If I say, Jerry, uh, further extended. Oh, there's one that, I, this is easy one. I'm gonna say this. If I say to you, okay, class, is there any further question? So if I say further question, I'm not saying uh, the, the one with A, I'm saying the one with U. 
for further question. So that one is not talking about distance. Once again, so I'm not being redundant. Let's leave it like this. The one that I gave it right now is about phys physical distance with A. And then, uh, well, as of now, if you have questions, guys, please, like uh, Chris and just did ask questions. And let's go back to the exercise. All right. Let's see, I'm going to be choosing, you know, for particip participants because uh, I know you guys are busy, but I want you to help me. Jocelyn, tell me the first one. What is the comparative of this one? Seria um, more interesting. More interesting, okay. Choose the next person, please. Say a name, please. Mm -hmm. Just one. Say uh, Rafael. Rafael, okay, Rafael. What about short? What is the comparative comparative adjective? Adjective. Mm -hmm. What is the comparative of short? My. Uh, I don't know, teacher. You don't know. But I yeah. don't know. You don't know. No problem. No problem. Let's analyze the rules. Let's analyze the rules, Rafael. Short is one word, one adjective that is that is just one syllable. Short is one syllable. What happens if it is one syllable? ¿Qué hacemos cuando solo es una sílaba? ¿Qué le agregamos? Okay. Uh -huh. What uh, did, I'm sorry? After, after. Uh -huh. Aha, the, the, the letters, uh, can you say it again, please? I, I barely heard it. Uh, air and air. Two words, just, I'm sorry, two letters only. Sure. Two words, two letters, I'm sorry. Sure. E-R. E-R, very good. Sure. E-R, E-R, nice. That's how it is. No, let's not complicate it. Okay, if it's like long, like interesting, then we say more interesting, but short is, is short, you know, so we say shorter, okay? Let's move on. Who wants to help me with the next one? For this one. What is the comparative of for? What, what did we just say? Water. Yes. Okay, we have two choices, but I'm gonna wanna play just one. But okay. this one. Okay, nice. What about expensive? What is the comparative of expensive? Somebody already mentioned this. More expensive. More expensive, exactly. More expensive. Why do you say more expensive? Well, because expensive is, is a long adjective. I ask more, I use more. I don't say expensive there. Mm -mm. I say more expensive. How about easy? What is the comparative of easy? Easy? Easier. 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 Good job. Easier. Nice. How about small? Small? A smaller. Smaller. Good job. Smaller. Smaller. How about good? What do we say? Good is only one syllable. I'm sorry? Better. Better. Nice. Yeah. We don't say gooder, right? Because gooder is, good is irregular. We know that. Since we know it's irregular, we should say better. All right. How about high? How about high? What is a comparative of high? 
Hmm? Higher. Higher. Good job. Higher. Higher. Nice. How about beautiful? We're almost finished. Beautiful? More beautiful. More beautiful. More beautiful. More beautiful. Okay. And the last but not least, but the comparative is. But the comparative. Yeah. Worse. Worse. Awesome. Okay, worse. Nice. Now, having said this, we have talked about comparatives with these ones. Now, I want to make sure you uh, you know how to use them in sentences. Choose only one. From this, try to challenge yourself and get the, the most difficult one to create a sentence. I'll give you two minutes, but please share it with me. Think about one sentence. give you one more minute. Think about one possible sentence. Class, algunos de ustedes nunca le he escuchado, I don't know why. Yes. Yo les soy bien honesto. No sé que andan bien cansados. Pero también me gustaría Así pedirles a todos, a todos. Y esto es una cuestión muy personal. Lo que les voy a decir ahorita. Este, en inglés es, do you want to speak English? ¿Quieren hablar inglés o solo quieren el diploma? I need to speak English, teacher. Okay. Entonces, eh, yo sé, Rafael, yo lo sé. Y eh, lo que digo pues queda grabado. Y si después me dicen a la mía, I assume, I take responsibility. Pero yo siento esta clase bien apagada. Super silent, quiet, no quieren participar. Miren, solo tiene, solo hay cuatro con, con cámaras encendidas. Sí, ahorita. Los demás quizás, no sé, taking a nap, chilling. Uh -huh. Si completaron ya la plataforma, Just one step. Usted dice, eso es un básico para mí. Yo creo que deberían estar aportando más. Practicing. Trayendo más. Okay, practicing. Hey, this is it. It's just one hour. Solo es una hora. Solo es una hora. Miren, incluso ya me pongo a hablar, no te pierdo cinco minutos. Ya solo faltan como quince. Okay, uh, please. Do your best here. Si ya sabe hablar el idioma y solo quiere el diploma, pues fine. Pero si necesita más mm. o si no le entiende, entonces este, pregunte, please. Yo no tendría por qué hablar español, así, eh, porque hace intermedio. Sí, en algo usted tiene razón, ¿verdad? Que dice que no tendría que hablar español, pero, se, pero para entenderle mejor al tema, creo que mm, al principio lo dijo un compañero que también puede hablar español uh -huh. porque hay unos temas también que son nuevos, bueno, al menos en lo personal puedo decir que no al 100% puedo entenderle el inglés, uh -huh. como cuando lo está hablando sí es bueno como que lo hable igual, va casi todo el todo el, la clase, pero también en algunos, en unas partes del tema que son nuevas, debería tal vez explicarlo un poco medio entre español e inglés uh -huh. porque a veces yo en lo personal en algunas cosas quedo con los últimos temas he quedado en la luna y algunas bueno. cosas que he visto los videos por muy aparte y, y esa es una de las razones por la cual a veces quizás yo igual me quedo más tiempo, más bastante así que no mucho vaya, este, si no me malinterpreten, si yo, yo confío muchísimo en la fíjense que yo he visto con esa por ese este sería mi tercer año que trabajo con él. Y he visto personas que sí lo logran. Hablan inglés, terminan los módulos y hablan inglés. Este, pero requiere bastante de, de disciplinarse, de enfocarse, estar aquí presente, investigar, ser autodidacta. Y lo digo pues, en todo el buen sentido de la palabra. Así que ustedes me van a entender. I don't mean, I don't mean 
I don't mean to be rude. No quiero ser nada, así rude con ustedes, pero yo sí confío que esto funciona. Pero quiere de, que se involucren, que pregunten y pierdan el miedo. Yo sé que aquí hay muchos profesionales conectados y, este, y saben la importancia del idioma. Y me tomo esos minutos porque yo veo la clase, la siento como que está, de repente, los mismos están ahí activos, los demás, algunos que nunca lo he escuchado. Y este, yo podría seguir y paso, paso. La plataforma ya se completa, solo la asistencia es la que falta, pero, what's the point? ¿Sí? Let's make, let's make uh, sense of this. Y eso creo que es algo de que quiero que ustedes lo tomen así de una manera muy personal. Se autoevalúen y digan, sí, yo quiero aprender, me voy a pensar. ¿Okay? Porque sí se puede. It's possible. Yo siempre ando hablando de más a veces, por eso que de repente hay gente que, en el grupo, que otro grupo que están, no sé, no les ha parecido que les he dicho sí, pero le digo, bueno, si quieren nada más el, 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 van a trabajar, yo trabajé en call center 10 años casi, y ahí nunca me dieron un título, solo que supiera hablar el idioma. Ahí ustedes, ustedes entienden cómo lo pueden entender. ¿Ok? Si yo mi, mi título que dice que tengo la licenciatura en inglés, he estudiado aquí, allá, allá, pero no hablo inglés. ¿Verdad? It doesn't make sense. ¿Ok? Y creo que Sonia quiere decir algo. Y también Alfredo. Teacher, en mi caso, yo en algunas ocasiones yo le escribo ahí que tengo problemas de conexión. Yo pienso y considero que es de conexión, pero a la larga últimamente a mí me está dando problemas la aplicación. A mí me cierra la... En, en la clase estoy y me cierra la aplicación. Uh -huh. Digamos, yo por eso casi la mayoría de veces he estado usando la cámara apagada, porque así siento que un poquito más me, me sirve. Vaya, vaya, pero a mí eso me, eso me, me da tranquilidad. Digo, Sonia, ahí estás escuchando. Usa el chat. Usa el sí. chat y este, pregunte. Sí, de igual manera yo trato en lo posible. Así como dice Cristian, como hay algunas cosas que no se comprenden, en las que uno sí, o sea, trata uno de participar. Solo quería explicar lo del caso de mi cámara apagada. Vaya, está bien, gracias. Fíjense que este, yo veo a las personas que están aquí, con lo, poco que les, que, con lo poco que les he conocido a través de la conexión que tenemos este, en tiempo real, yo veo aquí bien, se nota que el que está más metido en el, en el, en el idioma, por alguna razón, y se está, está más seguro es. Entonces, guys... Please don't misunderstand me, no me malentiendan, pero quizás más al hacerle conciencia a ese sentido, ¿verdad? Compro comprométase con que usted quiera aprender el idioma. Sí, es posible. It is possible. I know it is possible. Y todos estamos aprendiendo. Yo que ya tengo un rato aprendiendo y enseñando el idioma, de repente, pues, hay palabras caras, ¿no? ¿Y qué hago? Pues, I investigate it, you know, I, I do it. E incluso me pasaba en el teléfono un montón, de repente alguien decía una palabra que dijo, and I'm like, okay, could you mind please saying it again, o alguna frase, y ahí va, y ahí se va, o lo voy a tratar de inferir, it. pero honestly, I want your help on this, uh, Alfredo y luego Janira. Sí, con referente a la clase, ¿verdad? No sé, en lo personal, yo siento que eh, entiendo a veces lo que lo que habla y, de, y quiere dar a entender, pero como usted menciona, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es lo que queremos? Si solo entender o el título o si queremos de veramente hablar. En lo personal, eh, yo quiero hablar, yo quiero hablar, o sea, yo quiero hablar y darme a entender, ¿verdad? Pero quizás, no sé, yo siento que quizás debería usted de preguntarnos algo como, como hacerlos las preguntas a referente al tema, o sea, lo, a como tratar de hacerme hablar en lo personal. ¿no? Digamos, preguntar, eh, eh, ¿cómo estás, verdad? ¿Qué has hecho? ¿Qué estás haciendo? Háblame de tu trabajo. O sea, sin tener el miedo, o sea, referente a las palabras, ir corrigiendo palabras y cómo debería de ser. ¿no? Porque a veces como que la gramática... Y la estructura si sí es una forma como de hablar bien estructurado y formalmente va que es lo que se busca pero a veces como que confunde mucho porque 
en español confunde la gramática y en inglés confunde yeah. más quizás todavía, pienso uh -huh. yo. Sí, sí. Vaya, su punto es muy válido y algo que este, se discute desde diferentes perspectivas, desde el punto de la gramática, este, yo podría decirle que es necesaria, yo más decir que no es necesaria, pero a mi, a mi criterio sí es necesario, sí es la base, este, pero usarlo de manera más este, cotidiana, o sea, más comunicativo, es que sería su, su, su enfoque, ¿verdad? Podemos, podemos plantearlo así. Aunque les soy bien honesto, este, se fijan como la mecánica de la plataforma. Si sí, lleva conversations, uh, luego grammar points, sentence structure, así va. Entonces, podemos seguir siempre conversations y así, pero para apoyar a una conversación tenemos que conocer el, la base, cómo crear la, la, la oración y luego crear una, una conversación. Entonces, por eso es que a veces me detengo así en este tipo de detallitos. Pero podemos pensar, eh, Alfredo, en conversations, donde se usa la gramática. Esa es una muy buena observación. Lo haremos así, sin salirnos del, del tema. Okay. I like, I like it. Honestly, I like it. Uh -huh. No lo había visto de esa manera. Uh -huh. eh, quizás este, las, las claves fuera bueno eh, como explicarlas en español. como lo, Hay cosas claves. Usted habla el inglés, algunas cosas las entiendo, pero quizás algunos se pierden en eso. Un ejemplo, eh, eh, aquí este, es aplicable los adjetivos, no a los verbos, ¿verdad? Eso es lo que entiendo yo. Sí. Y usted estaba recalcando en inglés adjective, adjective, uh -huh, pero quizás uh -huh. algunos no logran entender exactamente la clave, ¿verdad? o sea, uh -huh. distinguir entre un adjetivo y un verbo. Uh -huh. Sí. Entonces, pero como lo dicen en inglés, como que ahí se pierde, porque estaban poniendo play, eh, un ejemplo, go, o sea, es eso sabe, sabemos que son verbos, pero no han entendido la clave, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Sí. Tal vez la, los puntos claves, decirlos en español para que nos no guiemos, o sea, la médula del tema. Uh -huh. Ok. No sé si me doy. Yeah. Claro que sí, claro que sí, claro que sí. Sí, y hacemos esta, esta pausa en medio de la clase para hablar de eso, porque aún nos faltan, este, creo que hoy es nueve, en algunas, ¿cuántas horas? Un par de horas, ya, ya como unas sesiones serían como siete sesiones más, siete días más, entonces, sí, sí. hagamos ese tiempo para preguntar y hacerlo, ¿alguien más iba a decir algo? Sí, sí. Ah. Yo solo un comentario. Sé que todos los profesores, los teachers como usted, todos, todos tienen su forma de enseñar. Y creo que hasta cierto punto se, se comprende. Pero este, yo, yo en mi caso enseño y tengo diferentes niños que aprenden de diferente forma. Y, y se nos ha enseñado de que deberíamos de, de adecuarnos a cada, a cada mentecita, a cada, a cada forma de, de aprender. Como por ejemplo, tantos comentarios que le han hecho ahí mis compañeros, de que quizás no todo lo va a decir en español, pero hay unas palabras clave donde uno, si usted dice esa palabra clave en español, pues lo demás creo que uno bien cabal lo entiende. Entonces, no sé, solo ese comentario que le quería hacer. Ser más um, abierta a la forma de, de, de aprender en nosotros, que es algo, no sé, diferente a la, de, a la nuestra. Ok, entonces sería usar palabras en, en español y en inglés. Sí, la verdad que lo que usted menciona tiene muchísima razón. Yo, pues, eh, ya que usted tiene esa perspectiva, pues, eso me dice a mí de que, de que nos vamos a apoyar, ¿verdad? Nos vamos a apoyar, porque necesitamos que ustedes también participen, que levanten la mano, que pregunten. Y si como me están diciendo ahorita, yo digo, si yo les pregunto es porque quiero, quiero llegar a donde, cómo hacerlo, porque es bien difícil conectar con... con con un grupo donde no tengo participación, donde no los conozco, no sé quién está detrás del teléfono, no sé quién es, pues es bien difícil. No sé si esa persona está ahí callada porque entendió, pero era muy fácil o porque no, no entendió nada. 
y en tan poco tiempo tiene que conectar. Entonces, así que este, trataré de buscar actividades, pero yo les pido a ustedes que también levanten la mano. Díganme, no le entiendo, stop, porque okay, repite, yo, yo soy bien flexible, yo he trabajado en una clase y llevo un buen rato, así, cuando tenía 20 y algo, y te voy a trabajar y he trabajado un montón y de repente grupos que salen así bien parecidos, grupos que bien pasivos, y pues eso es lo que no quiero, por eso que les estoy diciendo en este momento, pero no se malentienda y aquí personas pues todos tenemos este, mucho que decir y aportar. Haré las, 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 las ecuaciones que me han dicho. Vamos a Spanglish, vamos a hacer conversation. Y en realidad yo solo tendría que pegarme a la plataforma, porque para eso, esa ha sido la directriz que me han dado. Pero tomando como, como referencia que ya termina la plataforma, podemos ir mezclando. Platform, different uh, you know, sure. approaches. Ajá, dígame. Sobre esta imagen que tiene en la pantalla, por lo menos yo entiendo que si tiene varias sílabas, ponemos more y more. Y la palabra queda igual, ¿verdad? Si solo tiene, perdón, una vocal. ¿Así es o no? Ahorita, ahorita voy, a, voy a dejar esta parte bonita porque voy a se va mostrando. Vaya. Este, en este caso, los adjetivos que tienen más de dos sílabas, con ellos vamos a usar more. Siempre. More. More. Ajá. More interesting, por Si ejemplo. solo es una. Si solo es una... Agrega no, ER, va. Ajá, exacto. ER si no es irregular, porque los irregulares cambian. Aquí en esta lista, clase solo tenemos este, good y tenemos good. bad, que son irregulares. A esos irregulares, ah, eso. a eso no le vamos a aplicar la, la fórmula o la regla que hemos aprendido de, de ER. A eso le vamos a aplicar ya su adjetivo ya dado, que es irregular. Irregular es que no es como todos, por eso es irregular. Entonces, él va a ser, good va a ser better, bad va a ser worse. No vamos a decir gooder ni better, okay. ¿verdad? Ajá. Y a los que son de escritura larga, por ejemplo, expensive, uh, beautiful, and interesting, eso les ponemos more. More. A, la, a, la, ajá, a los okay. de escritura corta, short, le ponemos er, shorter. Y a los que siguen un patrón sure. de, de consonante, Farther. vocal consonante, como el caso... Aquí, perdón, aquí estaba far también, que far era, es, es también irregular. Ahí se lo di también, que es farther. Y luego farther. Los, que, los que terminan con y, y griega, como este. este y latina. Es, ahí, ajá, y, y le ponemos y latina y le agregamos er para un comparativo. Y vamos a comparar dos cosas. Nunca comparamos una cosa con sí misma. Eso lo decía en la aplicación. Siempre necesitamos dos cosas. Y, este, y luego creamos la, la oración. Por ejemplo, esta clase es más, más interesante eh, cuando todos participan. Uh, this class is more interesting. Uh, o si no, uh, Jaime um, is... I, I, I have an example, teacher. Uh -huh. The class of English more interesting than mathematics. Uh -huh. Ajá, yo también. <ríe> Estoy de acuerdo. I don't, I don't like no, numbers. Ajá. Bueno. Uh, let's see. Entonces, quiero ver. Miren, el tiempo se nos ha terminado. Mañana vamos a seguir hablando de ese tema. Nos falta estudiar este, superlatives también. Los videos que están en la plataforma los pueden revisar, los pueden ver y discutimos aquí. Creamos oraciones y si posible hacemos un par de diálogos también de un solo. But please um, ask questions, pregúntenos y pues eh, mi rol es eh, mi rol es facilitador. Mi rol no es si estoy hablando y hablando, no me participa. Yo pienso que yo estoy practicando inglés y ustedes no. ¿Me entienden? Y pues, la verdad es que al final del día, pues ustedes son los que necesitan el idioma más que yo hasta cierto punto, porque. Ese, por algo están aprendiendo, right. todos tienen interés en eso, ¿verdad? Entonces, así que, guys, bueno, en lo personal, pues, creo que había un par de manos levantadas, no sé si me van a decir ahí alguna otra cosa, porque tengo otro grupo. Creo que Jaime. Sí, yes, sí, yes, yes, sí. I want to tell you something before you leave us. Uh -huh. So, I don't, I wouldn't like to, I wouldn't like you to change the way that you are teaching us right now. And the, in this way, I would like to, we, we got a studying and I would like to keep studying right like right now. So because it doesn't make sense that you are speaking Spanish while we are 
we are we 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 just want to learn english in my case i wouldn't like to hear you speaking in english so i feel mm -hmm. comfortable with your work with your work that you are doing mm -hmm. right now mm -hmm. but it's all about the things that you were talking about before mm -hmm. it's all about the interest that someone have to learn a new language mm -hmm. i don't know if if mm -hmm. i'm being honest i'm i'm telling you the things uh, in the in the right way that i can say because yeah. it's only it's all about that mm -hmm. we yeah. gotta practice in our homes in our world if you are working, if you are working whatever that you are doing we gotta speak we gotta set your mind just in english and that way things works well so i wouldn't like you to change the way that you are teaching us right now okay because right. i can understand every single word that you are talking you know okay awesome well you know i appreciate your comment too robert you know i know i know i understand what you're saying and for me it makes a lot of sense too but we have to consider, you know, we have to sometimes be kind of, you know, empathic with other people, the ones who don't understand. And that's why I, I want to be very flexible on this. But thank you so much for everything you have said. Eh, lo último que dijo Robert, ya este es que van a dar la, la milla extra, dice él, ponerle interés. Pero de eso se trata. Sí se puede. I know it's possible. Así que no se desmotiven ni tampoco hay que estar ahí, hay que echarle ganas. Okay. Este, los dejo, mañana me comenta Yanira que iba a decir, porque ya tengo otro grupo ya me pasé dos minutos, el otro grupo está esperando así que cuídense mucho, mañana seguimos hablando See you tomorrow, bless See you tomorrow, tomorrow.